The Berenstein Bears and the Easter Story. The Berenstein Bears and the Easter Story. It was springtime in Bears country, and brothers, sisters, honey bear, were thinking about Easter. Actually, they were thinking about Easter candy. They love Easter candy. There were so many different kinds that they even think about on the way to Sunday school one fine spring morning. My favorite Easter candy is chocolate bunnies, said brother. My favorite is marshmallows, chicks. Jelly beans, cried Honey Bear. Their Sunday school teacher, Miss Musha, overheard them. I like black jeans beans best, but you know how much more Easter than chocolate bunnies, marshmallows, chicks, and jelly beans in black or otherwise. Sure. You know what, said brother. Sure, said sister. Sure, said Honey. Oh, said Moses Rusa, then why don't you tell the class about Easter? Well, said brother, scratching his head, it's about stuff in the Bible. Yes, read Bible stuff. Stuff, not at honey. Hmm, Mrs. Rusa, maybe it's time to be learned a little more about Bible stuff. It happens that the cubs in the next class are about to put in a play called Easter Story. Can be watched. Musa Rusa and the cubs asked, just what I was about to suggest, she said. In the next classroom, everything was ready, steering was up, and the performers were in the costume. Once they began to read, story out loud. Long ago, the whole land was a man named Jesus. He traveled the countryside teaching God about what about his people. And he listened to Jesus and followed him. Jesus was able to perform the miracles. One time turned out water into wine. Another time he made land made walk. Jesus could do these wonderful things because he was son of God. He was called Christ. His name was for a king. But Jesus' kingdom is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Jesus sometimes made people angry. Many people found his teaching strange. And some people doubt he was son of God. Others worried about why he was called king. They were afraid. Jesus would become too powerful. Jesus was a small country town, but he traveled all the way to the holy city of Jerusalem. One day, as he rode to the holy city of donkey crowds and people greeted him, he shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. The leaders of the city grew worried. Jesus was becoming too powerful. One night, Jesus went to the garden to pray while he prayed soldiers were sent to arrest him. They took him away to prison. Jesus was brought before the Rick judge. The judge asked Jesus many questions. He wanted to show everyone that Jesus was not the king. So he ordered Jesus to put out to death a hanging on a wooden cross. The day Jesus died, a terrible day, the skies grew dark. A great wind arose. All the people were afraid. After Jesus died, his friends took him away. They put in a tomb that closed a great stone. Jesus was in this tomb for two days. One morning, on the third day after Jesus died, some women who knew Jesus came to whip on the tomb. They saw the stone had rolled away and Jesus got gone. But an angel told the women not to be afraid. He told that Jesus was once alive once more. Jesus came to visit his friends as he rose. They were amazed and fell down and worshipped him. Jesus told them they could shout, spread through the good news of what had happened. Finally, Jesus rose up to heaven to be with God, his Father. The play was over. Everyone was quiet. Each is about a lot more than candy, isn't it? Asked Caesar. Yes, indeed, said Moses Jerusa. And there are questions. Yes, said brother. Does this mean that we shouldn't eat any Easter candy? Certainly not, laughed Moses Lusa. I wouldn't want them to be black beans, beans either. It just means that on Easter morning, after you get your Easter baskets, you all go to church and learn about Easter. Hooray, said the cub said. And Hoshana asked Musa Usa, he is risen. Amen to that, said brother and sister.